all right guys uh, welcome back to another video and today i will be taking a look at my uh, raspberry pi robot now this is the third revision and if you want to see the previous version of this robot uh, please do check uh, please check out the uh, older video that i did and now let's see what this uh, robot is uh, what all has changed and uh, some new features that I have added so first off of course I have changed my controller from a joystick to full-on gamepad and the other uh, buttons will uh, serve, a serve a separate purpose uh, uh, to control the robot and activate many other features that I am going to uh, put on the robot now anyways let's uh, move on uh, First of all, what we notice is that the battery is not on the robot anywhere, uh, anywhere, and uh, it is actually underneath the robot. So as you can see, it's uh, tucked down quite uh, a tight fit, and it's just right there, resting all across. And that is the other end of the battery. Now we also have this uh, 12 volt to 5 volt buck converter to power the raspberry pi off the battery and this is a switch mode power supply next we have our raspberry pi uh, itself and it's a uh, pi b2 and we have our motor controller so the l298n uh, now this is an edge bridge uh, dual motor controller and we have our controller and also we have uh, IR object sensors right uh, on the side of the wheels uh, so one two and on the other side two more so four of them all right so let's see what this uh, robot can actually do and what new feature I have add added also what the IR sensors are for Alright, so as you guys can see, the basic move movement of the robot for now is forward, it goes backward, it turns uh, 360 degree left and right, and as well as uh, it has semi turns, so uh, which are not completely 360 degree, it goes uh, a little bit forward and turns. Uh, so there you go, semi turns. And the new feature I have added and what the infrared LEDs are for is this. It doesn't fall off. And that's the main feature. So the what the uh, IR LEDs are, they detect whether there is a ground for the robot to run on. And then if there is not, it stops the robot. So again, I take it, I move it forward and it stops. Uh, and if you guys want to see it with the controller and you know uh, so it goes forward and it's still it won't move anywhere it won't go left or right only thing it can do is move backwards so yes it makes sure it does not fall off again with the controller it moves forward and goes back and that's about it for now uh, I have to add uh, a lo a loads of features on this, I have a, a lot of things planned, uh, uh, one of the things are I am going to use 6 in, uh, ultrasonic sensors uh, on the robot for um, object detection and distance uh, detection uh, 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 and there is going to be the official Raspberry Pi camera. Uh, streaming stuff, uh, Wi-Fi, and a uh, couple more things. So that's it for now. All this robot does is moves forward, backward, turns around, and of course, make sure it doesn't fall off. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.